this uh, this video is going to be two parts. The first one is going to be dealing with how the Africanization of the American continents is very bad, and how we should have worked, we, we should still be working to contain the Africanization as to where it stopped back at the end of the slavery days, and how, you know, we probably should work to, I don't know, keep America for the Americans. And by Americans, I mean Latin Americans, Anglo Americans, Franco Americans, German Americans, uh, Native Americans, and the mixtures thereof. And I don't mean new immigrants to this country. I do not mean Germans. When I say German American, I do not mean a German that immigrated to America last week, last year, or 20 years ago. I mean the actual American stock, the founding stock of these nations, the nations of the Americas. Now, what is interesting is I follow all sorts of news agencies. I, I try not to follow the news, actually, but sometimes it can't be avoided. And Al Jazeera had posted a thing about um, how blacks are now becoming a prevalent group, uh, Haitian blacks are becoming a prevalent group in what would, well, what, Chile. They're becoming a prevalent group in Chile. And they're bringing violence and gang warfare and everything else to Chile. Now, Chile, obviously, is a majority indigenous, uh, indigenous country. It's indigenous and, uh, you know, Spanish. It's mestizo and indigenous. The problem that people, the, the people fail to understand, and I did a video about how Afro-Caribbean and African-American culture is not American. It just isn't. It's not Latin American. It's not Anglo American. And it is basically West African. Now, the problem that some of these South American countries have is they do not have experience with blacks. Now, when I say African culture, I'm not talking about uh, Creole groups in South America where the people are actually more Hispanic than black and maybe have a drop of black in them, okay? I'm talking about legit black people. Now, the problem is, regardless of whether you call them Haitians or Jamaicans or uh, whatever, the, the cultures that they create are West African in nature. You give Christianity to Native Americans, they become Christian. You give Christianity to white barbarians in France or the Celtic countries, and they become Christian. You give Christianity to blacks, and they make voodoo. And they you know, use it as a justification for cannibalism. My point is this. The problem is that... The spread of the Africanization of the, over the continent, and I've also become aware that Haitian migrants have come into places like uh, Argentina and places like Mexico, though Mexico finally took action and actually rounded them up and sent them back to Haiti because of the high crime they were causing. Now, the problem with the spreading of these, these African people across the continents of the Americas is that it fundamentally alters the nature of these countries and it fundamentally alters the people of these countries when people begin to intermix with these people you get more um, Africanization you get people that behave more like Africans than say uh, Hispanics or uh, whites and this becomes problematic because then the culture becomes more similar to that of Africa, fundamentally changing the nature of the American continent. Now, this is not the same with Anglo-Americans and Latin Americans, which can actually benefit one another. Now, the second half of this video, which, not this video, the next video, will be about Catholicism without the Vatican. Now, why do I say that? Why am I saying Catholicism without the Vatican? Well, one of the biggest problems is the Catholic Church promotes this type of misogyny. Now, on this Al Jazeera video, there was a Jesuit talking about how wonderful it is that they are bringing multiculturalism to Chile and how this is benefiting Chile when it clearly is not. The crime rates are going up, violent crime is going up, rape is going up, people are dying, people are getting raped, and it's not good. But according to this Jesuit dude, this is excellent. 
the problem with the Catholic Church, now this was a similar thing, although I'm not as much against it, this was a similar issue when Donald Trump was running for president. The Catholic Church was very adamant that we bring in all the Mexicans into the United States because Mexico has, Mexico, uh, has a hard time taking care of their own people. Now what's funny is the hypocrisy, the absolute hypocrisy of the Catholic Church in the sense that what people don't understand, a lot of the gold, in fact, I would say, without researching it, I should probably research it first, the majority of the gold in the Vatican is Aztec, Mayan, and Incan gold. So if the Catholic Church wants to get all high and mighty and tell the United States that they need to do things and bring these people into our country so that they can have a decent life, perhaps the Catholic Church and the Vatican should first state that maybe the Catholic Church should repatriate the pilfered gold they took from the Native Americans of, well, Mexico and Guatemala and Peru and all these areas. But you will not hear that. You will not hear that from the Catholic Church. And this was one of the points that Martin Luther made was the absolute disgustingness of the fact that the Catholic Church promotes these astonishing cathedrals while many people that belong to these churches live in poverty and are starving. Now, I'm going to go into this because I believe Catholicism is perhaps the best, uh, it's the best Christian branch as far as a lifestyle. Obeying the Catholic lifestyle lifts up humanity. But the Vatican and Catholicism no longer are worthy of basically calling themselves that. They've become rife with pedophilia, homosexuality, and moral degradation. But this doesn't mean that we forget about the beauty of Catholicism. And the thing is, I remember getting in an argument on Facebook with a lady, and I explained, and I'm not a Catholic, I was raised Episcopalian, but you can perform a self-mass during certain circumstances. And I think one of those circumstances probably might be the fact that the church is full of homos and pedophiles. But uh, that's all for this video. I'm going to make a second video.